All right, without further ado, straight from Louisiana, Richard Law. There he is. What's up, pal? How's it going? Good to Hi, see you. Hi, Richie. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What's going on, buddy? Uh, not too much. You made it, huh? Yeah, a long trip. <laughs> <laughs> now, Richie, I know you a long time. What got you into the entertainment business? I was bouncing in a club across the street when they were doing Goodfellas. They're giving you a clip. Clip yourself a little better before you get clipped. <laughs> yeah, forget about it. How's that? It's perfect. Is that better? Yeah. And uh, Cater comes walking over and says, uh, I, I need 100 coffees, I need 100 soups, and we're in Park Slope. And I said, what are you doing over there? He said, I uh, was doing movie Goodfellas, blah, blah, blah. I said, who's the stunt coordinator? He goes, oh, yeah. I said, go get him. You ain't coming in here until you get him. That's how I got on the, you know, movies. Mm -hmm. Went over to Louisiana. Say, something similar happened. They needed... Uh, um, SWAT guys and stuff like that. So uh, I started going into films after films after films and just working my way up. Cool. Cool. Um, I know that you're currently living in Louisiana, as you mentioned, but you have a little bit of an accent. Are you originally from there? No, I'm from here. Aha, uh -huh. born and raised in New York. Born, born in Brooklyn, <laughs> raised in Staten Island. Yeah. yeah. I know Richie a long, long time, and then, like, you left the neighborhood probably around 1990. Usually, you, know, you got to get out to get better, you know, you're doing a good job here, and, you know, kudos to you, man. Thank you, buddy. You know, good that show. was a handful back in the day, right? Oh, forget about <laughs> it. I, I ain't gonna even tell you any stories because, uh... It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. We'll do that in my life story. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, uh, your new movie, Men of Respect, you got the trailer, the read the script is great. Why don't you talk about it? Well, I've got a couple films. I got, uh... The first film we're going to be doing is The Pendant. We should be uh, shooting that out end of August, early September. Then we're going to go in with uh, Men of Respect. Uh, Men of Respect is, uh, I wrote it. Uh, it's partially about my life. Um, it's uh, about a couple, of, a couple of captures I went out on. Um, it's gonna, we're going to do a TV series also on it. We're, doing a, we're going to do a film. And then we're going to go back to do a TV series. They want to pick it up and hopefully uh, get picked up with a, a big syndicate. That's great. So uh, let's hope that. You know, Louisiana is uh, number one state right now for the tax credits. That's what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a lot of movies out there. A lot of movies. It's, they, we're beating out uh, New York which and, and L.A. Uh, hands down. I mean, Battle, Battle Los Angeles was shot out there. Uh, uh, Mad Money, Streets of Blood. I mean, it's just, it's just hundreds of movies. Green Lantern, Green Hornet. Uh, you know, just just mm -hmm. hundreds of movies, and their tax credits are incredible. And plus, the film commissioner Arlene Acri, she's she's awesome. I walk in her office anytime, tell her, hey, I need this and that. And the mayor is all involved with it. You know, Mayor Glover. So uh, it's a good deal. Now listen, we got a clip of Men of Respect. All right. I would like to show it. Absolutely. All right, control room, run that clip of Men of Respect with Richard Law. You gotta understand something. Back in those days, it wasn't about right or wrong. It wasn't about what you wanted to do. It was about what you had to do. Me off and you're not doing nothing about it. What you want me to do? Move in with my mother? It was about loyalty. Joseph. How you doing, comrade? About respect. But things change. Hey, pal, I got some news for you. I quit the force. I ain't gonna arrest you no more. So I wouldn't worry about the cops. You 
you've got bigger problems now. Very good, buddy. Yeah, no. That's it. Good luck with it. How long did it take to film that trailer? Oh, forget about it. We had to do, tw it was 21 days of actual shoots. We had to do reshoots on there. Mm -hmm. And my company did that. And uh, uh, Shreveport in Louisiana was so gracious and let me have whatever I wanted. Great. Pretty much. So they're very friendly out there. A lot of movies going out there. So. And you're in with a lot of the political people out there, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, but I'm um, making my bones now in, as producing films. So, uh, is that a part of Shadow Productions? Shadow Productions. Shadow Productions is going big now. Uh, you know, it's funny. You work you, you, as much as hard as you guys work. You you understand, but you're working all this time. Then when it finally pays off, you know. And uh, I got a nice office out there. We're we'll ready to uh, launch a big studio. Uh, so it's going to be pretty big. Don't forget me for editing work, right? Absolutely. Johnny P, you're the man. That's it, man. He's man. great Thank at you. it. Now, listen, people, for people that don't know about you, uh, it's like me and you, we're like outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Black Water, why don't you explain that, actually to me too, plus our studio audience that don't know what that is. Black Water is a, uh, a company that goes in for uh, government contracts. We go in from neutralizing threats. Like, that's how I got to Louisiana. I was, you know, neutralizing threats. Yeah. Uh, you know, when uh, Katrina Rita hit, it was in all anarchy, and there was gangs taking over, and, and the cops were even leaving. Mm. When they leave, we go in. We neutralize the threats, and then so after we're, we clear house, then they come in and start building again, so. Must be exciting, right? <sighs> like, go for Bounty Hunter or no? No, it's just it's more, just way intense. I know, just it's teasing. it's it's uh, made of uh, uh, SEAL Team Six started Blackwater, uh, and it's a very intense training. It's uh, special ops. It's very intense. You got to go through a certain training, and then they release you, and you you go in with teams. Uh, very intense, very you know scary sometimes, but you got to do what you got to do. Is there any place that anyone can get you on the web? Oh, absolutely. I got a. Uh, Shadowproductions.org. Uh, it goes right to my website, and then you get Facebook, Twitter. Twitter, right? Did I say Twitter? Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, I have my assistants take it's care silly. of it. It's silly. Twitter's retarded, but everyone yeah. uses it. Yeah, but Facebook, we got uh, Shadow Productions LLC. Um, we're just going to be banging out a lot of films. A lot of films, so. Well, before you leave, make sure you see my friend Frankie D over here from Mob Candy Magazine. I'm sure he'll be interested in doing something for you down the road. Absolutely. So, everybody, late night, goodbye to Richie Moore. Hey. Hey. Richie, thank you. Thank you, Richie. Thank you.